I did a video the other day just showing a way of hiding a page within a report, but it's not that secure. It's pretty good, but not great. A little link will pop up. Go and check it out. Here's the way to do it if you really want to make it secure. Okay, let's go. Okay, so here's my Power BI report. It's got some rain data in it. Uh, thanks to Kerry Colosco, check out her blog. This is her idea, I just stole it. So thanks Kerry. Um, so what we got here is some data, but let's say this sensitive page shouldn't be shared with certain people. It's got some data in that people shouldn't you know, be able to see this page. Here's the way of just making it really secure. And it's really about building a totally different report, which sounds like a pain, but check this out. I've already published this report, okay? So it's sitting here, it's called the Rainfall Demo Sheet. Okay, this is the report and here's the semantic model. And what I do is I just take a copy, okay? So I just save this as something else. So file, save as, and save it as a different file with a different name, okay? And then I'm just gonna go to my um, data view down the side here. And my buttons have hidden, so let me go down the side. All right, and I'm just gonna shift Click on this and hold shift. Oh, I've got to do it in the model view, of course. Sorry, I'll go in the model view. Hold shift, click on that lot, press delete. Okay, I'm going to delete the entire thing. Now remember, I'm doing this in the copy. So the original model's still up there, the original file's still, this is the copy file. I'm actually getting rid of everything. And obviously all my visuals are going to be broken. Okay, so it doesn't work at all. Here we go, these are all broken. However, because I've published this report, I can now connect to it with a Power BI data set. Okay, go to the report there, double click on it, and within a few seconds, it should be connected up. Okay, so here's my new report, all connected up, all working. And now I simply delete this sensitive page. Okay. And I can now go and publish this up to the cloud. I'll just save it as a different name. I've just saved it as sheet removed and I can publish this to the same workspace. Okay. And then it's publishing up and let me just go there now. I'll just refresh my browser and you can actually distribute this then via an app. There it is. Okay. So if I go to create app, and I go to content. Oh, I've got to put a little description in there. Okay, go do some content, add. So I can add both these, rainfall and the sheet removed. Okay, so both reports are in there. And then for the audience, I could say, right, so this is the see all sheets or the executives, they see everything in there, including the sensitive. So they see that whole report, okay, but they don't need to see this one with it removed. And then the new audience who have a hidden sheet, you know, you don't name it like this, you name it something slightly different so it's not obvious to people. And with that one, with the hidden sheet, you can say, right, they don't get to see that, but they do get to see this one with the sheet removed, okay. So there we go, you've got one model to manage, you've got one set of measures, you do have to maintain two sets of visuals, but you can then distribute this one to a certain distribution list that are allowed to see everything. And then with a hidden sheet file, you send that to a different group. Okay, so that's the sort of really safe way of doing it. Again, don't give them build access because they can still access the underlying data, just share the report with them, okay? So if you allow people to build, they'll still be able to access that data just because you've hidden the sheet. That's when you need to start using row level security as well. All right, let me know what you think. Is that useful? Are there other techniques you've got? I know there is sort of object level security if you use Tableau Editor 3 to set that up. But again, it just doesn't hide the page. It blocks it. and It's not great. So let me know what you think. I'll catch you in the next video.